Well, my weight has almost ballooned up to 250 pounds, and I'm at a loss for what I can do. It's like, the best I can do is, uh, like, hunt food banks. I blame the food banks, and I've turned into a mighty hunter over food banks, along with a lot of other people who wait in line, obese talking about their health problems, how they're having difficulty standing for long periods of time because the weight is crushing their back and their ankles and their knees. That's what we've turned into, our mighty over obese hunters. The food is plentiful in Boise, okay? If you're willing to stand in line for long periods of time and eat all the sugary stuff to cause you to become more bloomed out and develop more health problems the food is available for that all right there's plenty of this food okay that's not expired with plenty of sugar added that'll help cause your obesity problems to get worse all right you just find you can find them all at the food bank and that's what our lifestyle has turned into is just ballooning out eating more of this crap and um missing out on the good diets that pioneers used to enjoy. Sure, the times are looked at as being tough, but uh, that was during a deficient time, which really wasn't that deficient. Now we've, we've got this excess where, actually, people say we overeat, but I see it as more of a drug problem. The drug problem has ballooned. The drug problem is what's caused ballooning with all the extractions of sugars from corns and sugar beets and throwing away the pulp. That's the problem. And there's plenty, there's, it's plentiful. We can store foods for long shelf, with long shelf lives. I'm eating foods that have probably been on the shelf for two or three years for all I know. Okay, and they, they still have a, a freshness taste to them, but I know that something's up with that. You know, this second court case that I have coming up kind of reminds me of that cur the cartoon where the, uh, like, victim will walk in on, um, like, rakes and then smack him in the face. He turns around and steps on another rake and it smacks him in the face. That's how Boise feels. It's a Boise trap. Alright, so here was where I was jailed. I'm not sure exactly where in here. The window was to the inside of the buildings. Alright, for where I was. There was an air conditioner at the center or some kind of electrical device. And then you could see all the C wire. I believe it's somewhere around here. Oh, this is familiar. I walked down this sidewalk to get out. I left probably from those steps. Yeah, I was inside there somewhere. Actually, here's where uh, I think the cop brought me in. Okay, I think he entered in here for after hours use a pin. Okay. Yeah, that looks pretty familiar. It makes sense that that's where he would have uh, brought me in, he would have driven me into. And it's all next to the highway, over here. I walked down this way, looking for the the, uh, the Good Easter Seals Goodwill Working Solutions office. I thought they could help me, but they were about to close, so I couldn't even get on the internet, really. I took a left. I'm taking a right here. I think it might have been better if I had taken a right. I didn't know, I didn't have any maps. I was surprised how long it took me to get there. 
So this is where the mall is. This would have maybe have been faster. Just got to cross. And as I walked uh, away from the Boise or the Ada County Jail, I went into the shopping district area. I knew I had to look for the Target or something like that, which it is a Target. I just wasn't exactly sure. I knew there was a store at the end of this like, uh, block that had uh, that was that was pretty much approaching Emerald Street. And then I'd just go down Emerald, and I'd have a really good clue where the Easter Seals was after that. Whoa. Okay, I actually walked to the parking lot, so I somehow got outside of the parking lot there. But this, this is just on the other side of the, all the stores. I've got to say that the teas I put together, the green tea and the oat straw, are working as expected. I'm relaxed and alert at the same time. It's kind of nice. Temporarily, of course. We grow up with rules and expect the rules to always uh, like work in, in uh, good, um, honorable ways. But as you get older, you learn that uh, there's gray areas. And this is kind of a disgusting way to think of it. But, you know, you poop, you wipe, and you expect no problems in between until the next pooping. But some people do develop leakages and stuff in between. So the rules change. The rules get uh, a darker gray area. Alright, so I've ridden over to the Goodwill Easter Seals then. Over to Garden City for the food bank for... Oh jeez, I'm in Boise. <clears throat> and then I'm going back to the library. That's a pretty big ride. I hope I don't get sick like I did last time. So... That's... That's the excitement of the day.